No matter how much I love my home state of Colorado and the mile high city, Denver, it's inevitable. I'm always gonna hear from the people who hate it, who cannot wait to leave, how they think it's horrible and they're just begging to finally get out of this place. Well, today I'm gonna be addressing those issues. Why are people leaving the Denver metro area? All right, to start off with, honestly, it's expensive. It, it, it just has gone up so much in the last 10 years. In fact, it's gone up 120% just for housing. 10 years ago, you could get a house for roughly $250,000. Now we're looking at $550,000. I mean, that is significant difference. Also, rent. Back in 2017, you could get a 900 square foot apartment for roughly 1,800 a month. Now that same apartment is going over $3,000. Who can afford Denver? Like it's so expensive. It's no wonder people are wanting to leave. Everything, obviously nationwide, we're all struggling. We all have increased you know, prices and costs that we're having to pay for, but that is significant. I mean, that's why people are getting out of the actual Denver Mile High City and moving to other suburbs of Colorado, of Denver, because it is going to be less expensive than the Denver proper. Also, when you add on another reason why people are leaving, it's traffic. The traffic is crazy. And why why do we have so much problems with traffic? Well, it's because people are living here. People are moving here in droves. And so while I say people are leaving, so many more people are actually still coming to Colorado. So just in 10 years, we had a population increase of 31% of Colorado. Like we don't, our roads can't take that amount of people. We, we truly are not built that way. Hopefully at some point we will, but something that used to take maybe 20, 30 minutes to get into Denver to go, you know, I used to go down there and watch a concert or whatever. Now it's taking over maybe 45 minutes to an hour just to get there because you're sitting in dead stop traffic. It is insane. In fact, we have had the highest population growth, well, the ninth highest increase in population growth in the, in the country. And we just, we don't have enough space for these people. It is known to say that we spend 36 hours sitting in traffic a year. And that's only going to increase the more people who come out here. I mean, why why and not only that you t you add on more stuff so we now finally got the light rail yay us but it doesn't go everywhere it, it only goes down south uh down to about i-25 in lincoln and then it'll go west it finally got out to go west out to maybe goldenish and then it'll go out to dia which is east so aurora dia the airport all of that it'll go east it'll only come up north a small amount i mean roughly about 104th ish 110th ish but I mean, for all the people who live even farther up or even out west towards Boulder, it doesn't go out there yet. So you still have all of these people trying to be on these highways, trying to get into the Denver Metro. That's why, honestly, a lot of people are moving because out of Denver and going to these others and then staying there, like nobody's going into the, the city because it takes so long. Another huge reason why people are actually leaving the Mile High City and going to some of these suburbia areas or even leaving the state altogether is honestly our homeless population. It is really sad. It has gotten out of control. And it, even for me personally, going down to Denver nowadays, it's very hard um, because there, there is so much homeless around. It's not the Denver that I used to knew or know or even grow up with. And it's really sad. Um, in fact, we have had between, so 2016, we had just about 5,700 homeless people in Denver. Now, as of 2023, so that was the last statistics poll, we're over 9,000 homeless people. I mean, it's significantly bigger. It's, it's growing faster than any other city in the United States, which is really, really sad. Um, we, there's so many comp like reasons why this is happening. Like I already mentioned, the housing prices and the rents are so high that people cannot afford this, especially with the lower cost wages that they're receiving. So that's horrible. We also have a lot of migrants coming into Denver um, on a daily basis. So with nowhere for them to go, no housing, um, you know, it, it, it is a really real problem. And unfortunately we do see it all the time. I used to go down to Denver all the time and now it's almost like a ghost town. Um, just because you just see all of these unfortunate people all over the streets 
And then the people who used to go down there, like myself, um, you know, you have all the restaurants and the bars and the funness that you used to go down there for. Now those people aren't going down there anymore. Um, it's, it's becoming a bit unsafe. And so a lot of people are moving out of the Denver area and going to other areas just because of this issue specifically. The final thing on why people are, I hear people are moving out of Denver or even out of Colorado is for the politics. I, I'm not gonna speak one way or another or where I stand on it, but I will say we used to be more of a swing state, leaning Republican. In fact, we actually voted Republican almost every single time up until 2008 when Obama went in. So we were very much a Republican state for the most part for, you know, what, 60, 70 years. Um, and then in 2008, we, you know, we kind of changed that. And since then, we've leaned a lot more purple. So, and actually a lot more even blue, I would say. We're probably definitely more democratic. And so people who are moving here are tending to lean that way as well. So a lot of people who currently live here or have been here their entire life for years upon years upon years are actually angry about this. All of the policy changes, all the different you know, political views of people who are moving in here. And they are wanting to move out for those reasons. And I hear that time and time again. And I mean, it is what it is. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, obviously Colorado's political stature is changing or has changed. So that's just kind of where that, that is. So I do want to make sure that you do know about that. If you're thinking about living here, that kind of is there too. And not, not only that, I mean, you're going to be in Colorado and this probably goes for any state, but there are different areas that lean one way or another more predominantly. Uh, but I will say the Denver metro area for sure is going to be definitely more democratic, uh, definitely more of that vibe, especially like out to Boulder is going to be more of that. And then you have some of the other surrounding areas down south, which is more Douglas County up north, which is well, that's going to be more, more uh, conservative. So I mean, but I hear it over and over and over again, even in the comments, you know, political, blah, 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 homeless, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, these are all the reasons why people truly are moving out of this state and definitely moving out of Denver. I personally still love this, this state. I, I love Colorado. I love, I feel like it has more to offer than the reasons on why to move. I feel like you're going to have issues no matter where you go, but these are specifically the issues that, you know, people are addressing and they want, they want to be changed or the reasons why people are leaving. If you have questions about any of this stuff, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you. I am a local real estate agent in the state of Colorado. So if you do have questions about specific areas or, you know, home prices or just, you know, just anything, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. Remember to click that subscribe button right there. That way you are notified anytime I have a new video. And then to the next video, take care.